recital room. Hi guys, welcome back to the recital room. My name is Bola De Sadiq. I'm your host, and this is the review. Merry Christmas to everybody on the recital room. This year is about to end, so I am going to try and give you as much as I can before the year ends. So today's review is on the fifth song on the album, The Moral Instructions, By Falls. And the, the song is written by Falls and produced by Saz. It's called Amen. I hope you enjoy it. The song is two minutes. Yeah, this song, I am going to look for people who are new here. I'm going to be looking at four different categories, song structure, um, instrumentals, lyrics and vocals. And for the last one, video. So those are the categories I'm going to be looking at for the, for the song. And then each category gets five points to be allocated. So let's get moving. We're going to start with the song structure let's go and we're going to listen to the song four times and each time when we're looking at different um, categories yeah let's get moving oh yeah what you think of my hair is it nice is it nice yeah you can also rate this if you think it's nice leave it in the comment section and i'll tell you where to get your hair cut like me and i'll drop all that in my description let's get moving so yeah let's go song structure Okay, that was very interesting. It is very song structure wise, it's hard. It's hard, I'm telling you. Because I'll say so the song structure is basically intro, verse one, hook, verse two, hook, verse three, hook, verse four, and outro. See, that's the basic structure and yeah it's very simple i like it it's simple but hard at the same time because you wouldn't even i wouldn't call it i wouldn't call the hook a hook but it i, it rep, I wouldn't call it because for me i feel like uh, i'm normally but i would say i'm used to kind of hearing a repetitive something repetitive as my hook but which but i like the way they you did they used fella track uh, to represent the hook and it gives it a different vibe it gives it something new but the problem i, f I find with it is that there's nothing to remember there's nothing that catches you in this sorry there's nothing repetitive for you to remember after you listen to the song in the sense that there's nothing that would oh i heard the song you would know the song when you hear it you would there will be th but there's no you know, for example, when you listen to some tracks, you hear when in the chorus, you can remember your chorus because you because the, the chorus has been repeated over and over again, and you know that chorus. But with this song, the whole the way the song is put together, there's no there's no parts, there's no hook, there's no chorus for you to grab onto and say, oh yeah, that's the chorus from this song because it changes in the sense that it's basically different parts. Of a different song which is interesting and it's beautiful it gives I like the way I like the way it's used and I enjoyed it but my point would be more like there's no there's not something you can take and say oh yeah that's the like this is the repetitive part from that song which is my opinion so yeah let's go anyways let's just go into the instrumentals I know some politics could talk, yeah, it's more than likely. Best way I fight for go turn around to fight me. Okay, so yeah, basically the instrumentals are beautiful. I love it. I love and in this actually I can hear something that keeps me that gives me that vibe for the for that I can say I can remember. From the song from what i said earlier i was saying i couldn't hear there was no something there's nothing there's nothing i can take home and i said oh that's a hook but if you drop the whole song and it I, and you can hear it 
they were doing it in the music in the music itself it's basically waka 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 and basically you can hear it throughout the whole track it is just i'm very sorry my voice is banjacked but yeah you can hear it throughout the whole track it is beautiful the, i love the way that it's used it's not overused and it doesn't sh it shadow anything but and yeah let's get into the instrumentals the instrumentals that i was hearing i was hearing the full drum kit bass organ there was a brass section at one point but i think that that some part of that brass section is from the fella kuchi initial recording of the song that they were playing before and i think the song that was the fella kuchi song was called um coffin for head of state i think i'm not sure let me play some part of okay so yeah like i was saying it is from that track it's called the coffin of the head of state coffin for the head of state so yeah that's kind of it's that fella you know that's it it's the so let's get back to it let's get back to what we're going what we're doing so yeah like i was saying there was trumpets coming in from that from that track and that track was you can hear the influences you can hear that track in the music and you can there's shakers throughout the music from the begin you can hear the shakers you can hear trumpets you can hear and uh, there's at one point like i said at one point there was a full brass section that come in during their hooks during one of the hooks and during a couple of the hooks actually i think i heard that during, the, during some something on in and out from the from for the hooks yeah but that's kind of it it's just it's very you can hear everything that's playing mix wise it's i love the balance of it it's it sounds great and i like the i like the mix i like the whole sound i like the volume i like the nothing is too loud i like the way some when some things cut through to to be more defined when they're when they're needed and also you can hear the bass the bass is more like walking bass in a sense the, the rhythm anyway doom, doom, doom. That's basically, you can hear that it's very, very steady. It just plays that throughout the whole song and it's just beautiful. I like it. I feel like it, it grounds it. It gives it the, the song, the, the foundation and it helps build it. And then everything that comes in, comes in and out. And even at one point, the organs takes the lead. The organs come in and it's very strong and it's beautiful. It gives it presence. And I love, and everything, you can hear all the instruments clearly. I love the kicks. I love where the drums comes in. I love, you can feel, you can feel the instrument. My body got on, no got no come close. A dead bread, make free them a condo. But I didn't feed 5,000 with only one loaf. My like you can, when the drums comes in, you can feel the kick, you can feel the instrument. And I love the mix between artificial instruments and electronic uh, and real instruments. You can hear the electronic instrument and the, you can hear the mix and you can hear a nice blend in it. I, the flow will do bad control. My goal is to make sure you give Christ your soul. If you don't put your offering out tight in the hole, blessing all your life goes. I, like it's just beautiful it just sounds really good i feel like that it, that's one of the, my favorite things in the song i love the, the, the instrument the, the kicks the in, i won't just say the kick i'll say the drums the drums are just beautiful i love the feel of it i love the groove the nice groove and i love i, I just i just love the track i love the i love the, the mix for the track i love the instrumentals they're beautiful that's a that's a that's a that's golden mr Saz. this time no complaints from baladi no complaints no complaints at all so yeah let's move on we're going to be looking at lyrics and vocals and yeah let's see what we at he read his funds in the church and gave the money in his box without giving to the church what is it what this one has done is to destabilize this church to destroy to destroy this church Okay, so, 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 okay, after listening to this now, I can tell, I can tell you, this track is very simple. It's talking about pastors and church leaders. Okay, let me just, instead of using those, those definitions, we say religious leaders getting in millions from their congregation 
and using the offering and abusing the time, the ten percent that's required that God asked to give to the church. They abuse it and basically throughout the track it talks about different um, different scenarios, how what they're doing. Like so, and you can hear you can hear the you can hear the lyrics. If you if you listen to the lyrics, it's very it's very straight to the point. It's obvious. He's basically saying they be taking money that's meant to be gone to use to help fund the church and good. They would build schools that they they will build schools that their congregation can't even afford to go into. Churches will say they're building schools that their congregation can afford to get into. Or like other places, and they do like there's different scenarios, different things. Like my guys flying private jets, private doctors, basically those kind of things. Like it's very, it's just the abuse of power. They say they're called, but then, like the Bible says, or who are called, many are called, only few are chosen. Chosen. Or well, it looks like these pastors think that they're called. And they're called to collect money. <laughs> so yeah, it's very straightforward. There's not really there's not much interpretation needed for this. It's just basically abuse of power, abuse of abuse of re- using religion to um to basically steal from people and call it saying you're helping out. You're not. You're basically like uh, if you're taking money from if you're calling the money from the church, it's used to, meant to be used to fund the church, find things for the church. If you're gonna build a school or you're gonna build something, it has to be that okay, how can the church be able to use it? And for the people who don't know I'm a Christian and for question I wanna make up as a Christian I would tell you this. If there's anything I'm gonna say from my videos and you're gonna hear the t- church is not the building. The church is not the it's not where you're worshiping. The church is the people. So if you say you're building a church, you're building people. And you're building, you're getting people. The church is the people. And if the church is the people, you need to make sure you your pastor, the pastor is helping the church. And it's everything that he does is to help build the church. So that's basically what I so that's all I would have to say about that. But like the song is very, very, very straightforward. I love it. I think I love the lyrics. I love the word he used. I love the topic he picked. He picked because it is something that's rampant around the world. It's something that people been using to scam people, and they're using it to false advertise in a sense. They're messing, or I wouldn't say false advertise. I would actually let me change that word. They're using it to basically ruin the face of the church. Those kind of things are based when people hear of these kind of things, it makes people doubt the church. It ruins the credibility of the church. And but it is something that needs to be talked about because if we don't know these things are happening, you will be in a situation where you are being used to fund some guy's private pocket, not the church. So you gotta be wherever you are, you have to be cautious about it in your church so you have to know the people in your church and what i mean by the people i'm sorry i shouldn't use the word you gotta know your church so if you want what i mean by that is you gotta know the people so yeah and know the pastor too and the faith that your church is you and you and your church are going in the right direction always looking what never always always ask questions always be willing to learn and grow so that's all i that's all that's my little message i have for you guys today but apart from that the song itself is beautiful it's like i said straightforward it is talk that's the, that's the topic it's basically about how the church is being how pastors some pastors are manipulating their congregation or some church are using their, their you know using using their people their congregation to make money for themselves so yeah thanks for listening so now we're going to rate everything i'm going to start with song structure because there's no video for this song so yeah i'm waiting for i'm waiting to see what falls does if he's going to put a video for this if it doesn't and yeah if he, if he puts a video for this i'll review the review the video separately but for this track there's no video so yeah this the for the intro this is gonna be rated out of 15 and yeah, each I'm gonna now rate each category. So category one, which is song structure, I give that a four. 
It's a good track. I love the structure. The reason why I got, I got a four from me is because there's no, like I said earlier, there's no memorable chorus that repeated it. But that's the reason why I said that's because for me, just I feel like when someone listens to a track, you, the the hook or the chorus is what people remember. But this, there's no, you can't really remember it because it's different every time. But it is beautiful. I love it. I love the art. It is beautiful. It is, it is still, it is still a great song. It's just. I don't, I can't, there's nothing you can go home and say, oh yeah, there's the, the chorus is very memorable, or the chorus you can, you know, it's just not like that. But for the instrument, I love, instrumental, I love the way they, how crisp and artistic they are. I love the way they come in, they come, they come, the, the instrument comes in and out and it's just beautiful. I love the brass instruments that come in, at, I, and I, I love the bass, I love the organs. I just, I just love the way they sound. I love the, the I like the balance, the mix, it's just, well mixed. Uh, there's some parts that that, that the, the instruments, some instruments come in front and take, you know, center stage, which gives everything a little bit of time to do their thing, and it's beautiful, nice balance, and yeah, and I love the way the vocal sits in the mix too. So let's go. We're going to do our vocals and lyrics. For yeah, for vocal and lyrics, I, I'm giving that a five. I like what he's talking about. I love the because and also I'm a Christian, so. So it makes me angry when I see people abuse power in a sense that in the, in the church. I love the lyrics, I love the topic, I love what you're talking about and it's something that relates to me. So yeah, it's something I can I can relate to, something I can I can say that I can never accept when be, when people are stealing basically. Like I said anyways, I like the track. Vocally, that's a thumbs up, that's a five. I love it. So yeah, for people who are watching this video, if you have anything you want to add to the video or you want to comment about, you can leave it in the comment section or you can email me at therecitalroom at gmail.com or you can, also email, you can also drop me a DM on my Instagram if you're that pissed off or you're that happy to hear and you want to just, you know, you, you want to just communicate. Or if you also have a song you want me to review, drop it on the comment section and I will, and I would yeah, I'll, try, I'll look and try to see if I can drop it out for you guys as soon as possible. Yeah. So for this track now, altogether, that is out of 15, that is a 14. And it only lose mark in one place and that one area. It is just the fact that there's no definite, there's no defined memorable hook or chorus, if you want to say. Yeah. I love the, I, I love the track altogether. I love Amen gets a uh, banging, banging yes from me. Have you all go listen to it, get yourself educated. It's a beautiful song. Stay blessed. <laughs>